So I looked at some What I Ate Todays on YouTube. I loved it. They were all fantastic. It was such a nice like little feel good video. And someone suggested I do it on TikTok and hopefully we will have the same experience. So I just searched what I eat in a day as a vegan. I'm not gonna do any, can you even filter anything on here? So I'm just gonna go through the top videos. We have Orem. She made that wonderful, wonderful anti-seed oil video. We got a smoothie, mixed berries, ground flax, kombucha. Oh, in a sm oh, can you taste it? Like what's, oh no, no, <laughs> no. Get past it. Pretend that's not there. Oat milk, turmeric, pepper, ginger. Yeah, it's healthy. Fruits and, and flax. It's great. Turmeric too. Oh man. Like how much, to, like an eighth of a teaspoon or like a teaspoon? Oh my God, I'm gonna throw up. How am I already disgusted? Oh, we got a protein wrap, cashew butter, cinnamon, and banana. I'm not sure how that's a protein wrap. I mean, it's got some protein from the cashew butter. I don't know what kind of wrap that is. Mission, I think has like a protein wrap that's got like a good seven grams or something in it. But um, yeah, again, certainly healthy. Big old carrot salad, chickpeas, hemp hearts, coconut oil, pumpkin seeds. All right, she doesn't do seed oils. So it's olive oil and coconut oil mostly, I would guess. Frozen cherries and oranges because fresh cherries are a billion dollars. Yeah. I don't think I told you guys. Well, I told my patrons. We have a cherry tree. It's a Rainier cherry tree, which are the best cherries. They are so good. And we actually got some cherries this year. We thought, well, partner thought we were going to last year and was all excited. And I kept saying like, we don't know, like, yeah, they're growing, but that doesn't mean they're going to ripen and be good. They did not. We got so much rain last year. They just like fell off. It was much better this year. We got so many cherries. I even had partner make a little like cherry picker thing to pick them so we could reach more of them. The crows went nuts, which is so funny because when we bought that tree, it was advertised as like anti-crow, like crows don't pick these cherries. <laughs> okay. They like 80% of the cherries off that tree. Stuffed pepper. This is a lot of different. Is this a day? Oh yeah. This supposed to be a day. Well, I guess the first thing was just a smoothie and a wrap and then a salad for lunch and then I guess a snack of the fruits and stuff and then we have the stuffed peppers, brown rice, black beans, mushrooms, tomatoes, broccoli, cilantro, corn, homemade tofu cheese sauce. Oh, nice. Can she really eat all that? That's a lot of food. What is there to say? There's fruit, there's vegetables, there's beans, there's nutritional yeast. It's probably fortified with B12. So she's getting some B12 from that. I think this one uses copyright music. So I'm just going to give you a little play by play. So she has some water. She goes to Panera, has some coffee, a fruit bowl with some peanut butter, salad with lettuce, avocado, peppers, a dressing, some pickled onion, more coffee, another salad with a sweet potato and more fruit with peanut butter. Um, lots of fruits, lots of veggies. That's great. Not much protein. She had some peanut butter twice, I guess, in the first fruit bowl and in the second one, but both salads were really just vegetables. So very low in protein, very low in calories overall. This is one of those what I ate today is where I think it can look really, really healthy just because of the amount of fruit and the amount of vegetables, which again is great, but that is really low protein and low calories. No, not great. It's just one day. So if this is not what a typical day looks like for her, if she's normally having like tofu or lentils and chickpeas and stuff, then, you know, that's fine. But she said she's trying to eat less processed foods and more whole foods. And the problem with days like this that are so low in calories and probably not very satisfying is that you run the risk of just jumping back on your previous diet that you're not super thrilled with, right? And eating more processed foods because they're gonna be more filling. If she's talking about like the fake meats and stuff. Here's another look at what I eat in a day following a plant-based diet. For breakfast, I made a smoothie bowl with bananas, Ooh, strawberries, so peanut butter, and hemp seeds. Really pretty. For lunch, I made this Thai-inspired chopped salad. I have a video of this on my page. I also made a matcha this day. Y'all, I'm obsessed with matcha and I love putting chai syrup or chai concentrate in it. So good. It. I'm never gonna escape the matcha, am I? And then for dinner, because I've been on this eggplant kick, I made eggplant parmesan and I topped it with some vegan pesto. The longer version of this video showing you how I made everything is on my channel. So this one's harder to gauge because it's hard to know like what's in everything. Like is this eggplant dinner just eggplant? and vegan cheese, or does she have some kind of, I don't think she has any vegan meat or anything there. Yeah, this one's a little harder to tell. So I found her YouTube channel. It looks great. She's got a crispy tofu bacon video here. She's got a high protein, what I eat in a week thing here. Yeah, so I think there was like protein in that salad. All right, we got a super skinny lady, which makes me a little bit nervous. I'm not gonna lie. 
<laughs> I've been vegan for over six years and this is what I eat in a day to feel healthy and strong. I started off with a protein coconut yogurt bowl, which is my new obsession. Grabbed a soy latte and had this delicious roasted veggie salad for lunch. Ooh, what is that? Edamame, Brussels sprouts, spinach. I thought that was like tofu. I think that's potato and some sort of herby kind of thing in the middle. Oh, butter bean dip. It says right there, you dummy. Brekkie and lunch kept me going for a while, so I caught up on some work and did a 40-minute workout. For dinner, I had some leftovers. It was my green pea soup, which is incredible, and the recipe is on my page. And finished off the night with some herbal tea and these insane vegan chocolate bars. Ew, don't squeeze it. Ew, it's like dough donuts. She's always squeezing the donuts. It's <laughs> so nasty. That looks like another great one. You got a, a yogurt protein bowl with greens powder. Ooh, looks like there's some peanut butter in there. There's some fruit, some hemp seeds. Great for omega-3s. Oh, I think the green powder is in the, the drink the drinky stuff. Okay. This edamame salad looks fantastic. Edamame is so great. Such a great source of protein and vitamins and minerals as well. It's such a good food. Pea soup. Yeah. I mean, it looks a little low in calories, but it's hard to know, you know, is the pea soup like full of coconut milk or something? It could be actually a pretty high calorie thing. Here's everything I eat in a day as a very active 22 year old who tries to eat as healthy as I can. I woke up and had electrolytes, made my breakfast. I also had aloe juice with an empty stomach, but I forgot to film that. This was my first recipe I ever posted on TikTok and it's still one of my favorites. Look how good this looks. Frozen wild blueberries, almond milk, one date almond butter chimps, hemp seeds. Okay, so she's not blending everything. She just puts it all in a bowl. Interesting. And around 10 a.m. I had my coffee at the beach. We were out of espresso this morning, so we had to go to Dunkin' Donuts. I just got a black coffee. After surfing for like two and a half hours, I had my water. I never get to go food. I didn't even have my water this morning. It was a mess. Don't judge. The plastic cup bugs me too, but sometimes you're just a human and you gotta live. Then we ran to the grocery store to buy stuff to make lunch and I had an Olipop. I only like the cream soda flavor and I only really eat these when I'm really craving sugar, like the week before my period right now. Wish I only craved sugar a week before my period. <laughs> and look at our crunch wraps. My boyfriend looks better oh, with the not gluten-free tortilla. These were so much fun to make and actually delicious. Corn tortilla, refried beans, guacamole, lettuce, hot sauce, yeah. Sounds good. And I air fried the corn tortillas so they had no seed oils. Oh no. The anti-seed oil is affecting everyone. It's not just the carnivore, paleo, keto people. It's the vegans too. When we put everything together, we have a very strong balance of evidence that seed oils in general, unheated seed oils, don't show a clear effect on inflammation across seven or eight different types of seed oils with widely different linoleic acid contents in different doses in sick people, in healthy people. Cooked seed oils for the most part also no clear effect on inflammation even after cooking exclusively with seed oil for months or even years in some cases. When we get to extreme exposures like deep frying for hours or deep frying the same oil for dozens of times, then we might have an issue. Some of the data suggests that. That's the data. Had a bunch of free samples of all different kinds of stone fruit. Had a sip of my boyfriend's juice. Wasn't really a fan. I bought these two because obviously I wanted to support them after having their free samples. I always buy from the stand and I ate this one first. It was like a honey. And then I had some coconut milk, just a little sample. Loved my fruit. Look at this dog. Look at this photograph. And then at the end of the night, I had my other fruit I bought. And that's everything I ate today. Every day's different. Thanks for watching. Gotta say, for someone who's really active, I don't know, that didn't seem like a whole lot of food. Am I crazy? Oh no, what I eat in a day is a raw vegan. <laughs> God, should I just skip this one? I said not just salad and fruits. Okay, we got a smoothie bowl. That's how like most of these have started, right? Avocado salad, all right. Looks like tomato and red onion, some sprouts or something. Okra stew and jerk mushroom burger. Raw vegan Alfredo kelp pasta. <laughs> Man, that looks, that looks just so sad. Walnut meat burger with mushroom bun. <laughs> oh God. See, when I was raw, I never got into that kind of stuff. Like it just... It just, it's sadder than just eating like a giant salad to me anyway. Like when you're trying to recreate a burger or something and it's so far removed from a burger, it's just like not worth it. And it often takes so much more time. Whereas vegan, like you can actually make things that are like, oh yeah, that's a burger. But a portobello bun with some sort of walnut, no, 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 no. But hey, very, very healthy. And if you like it, fantastic.
hemp Caesar salad, mushroom cauliflower curry scramble. So she's eating a lot of mushrooms. That's good. And if your goal is just to be skinny, it can help you get there, right? Because you're eating just so much water and so much fiber. It's really hard to overeat on raw foods, especially if you're not just like pounding down bananas like some people. But it's also a lot harder to get enough protein unless you're eating a lot of nuts and seeds. It does seem like she's not eating low fat. She, she is eating more nuts and seeds, I think. But um, yeah, you know, just throw in some cooked beans and also calcium. Like I would worry about getting enough calcium on a diet like this. All right, one more. I don't want to end on hey, <laughs> raw vegan. Another what I eat in a day as a vegan. For breakfast, I made a protein packed apple cinnamon yogurt bowl topped with granola, agave, and sunflower seed butter, which somehow didn't make the video. And for lunch, I made the infamous chickpea tuna sandwich. Infamous? First meal I made when I first went vegan. And I had that with a side of kettle cooked chips and a pickle. And for Yum. Oh, I'm hungry. Snack, I had this fruit jar, which I prepped the night before. Fruit jar. And lastly, for dinner, I wasn't too hungry, so I had a few bites of this vegetable lo mein, which was also made the day before much better that's a perfect one to end on we've got some protein from the protein powder in the yogurt some calcium some fruit some whole grains she said she had some sunflower butter that's great for vitamin e veggies and chickpeas in the sandwich more whole grains fruit veggie noodles yeah fantastic I personally would also want some tofu with the noodles just to bump up the protein a bit more. All right, one more. I got to check this guy out. Nine years, right on. All right, so we got some coffee, some flan. Now oh, that's a breakfast. No, you know me. I, I'd never eat that. The texture. Oh my God. No, 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 no. So we had three of those and two bananas pre-workout. Just puts the creatine in the water. That's, you know, he's serious. All right, we got some protein shake, energy chews. Oh, he's showing his B12 and D, that's awesome. Oh, we've got oatmeal, agave, peanut butter, hemp seeds, apricots, nice. Water throughout the day. Oh, a nice fruit bowl with coconut yogurt. Whoa, what, what am I looking at? It's not like Beetlejuice. Rice rolls, sticky rice dumpling with red beans and a sausage. I'm like, what, what am, what am I looking at? I can't even process what this is. <laughs> okay, moving on, <laughs> we've got more food, egg and cheese quesadilla. All right, that was a great one to end on. And it actually reminds me, I just saw a video from sports scientist. He had like a short um, talking about vegan muscles and building muscles on a vegan diet and basically saying, yeah, like plant protein is, it might be a little bit worse than animal protein for hypertrophy, for strength gains, but like barely, you know, it's, it's basically the same. It's like, hell yeah. And I think he mentioned that he has a video going over veganism. Sounds like maybe he promotes it like f for ethical reasons. I don't think he himself is vegan, but it's like, yeah, if, if you want to do it, do it for ethical reasons. That was crazy to me because I've watched so many of his videos. I really like him when it comes to exercise and stuff. I, I didn't know his views on, uh, on veganism. So yeah, I'm definitely going to check out that video. I might make my own response. I don't know. I don't know why I brought that up. Oh, muscles. That's why. <laughs> anyway, that was really fun. These were all fantastic. Even the raw one like wasn't terrible. It wasn't just like orange juice and bananas and dates and some greens at the end of the day. As always, I encourage anyone and everyone interested in veganism to check out veganhealth.org. He has his um, nutrition needs for vegans. I forgot what he calls the page now. I don't think it's called daily needs anymore, but um, it goes through the nutrients that vegans should be focused on or should be concerned about like omega-3s, right? Make sure you are getting your ALA, you are eating your flax, your chia, your hemp, your canola oil. Make sure you're getting enough calcium, eating those calcium rich greens, drinking some calcium fortified plant milk. Iodine, make sure you have a source of iodine. If you are not using iodized salt or eating certain seaweeds, you know, please consider supplementing with iodine. Maybe your multi has some already. It's, it's something every vegan should be aware of. B12, of course. Vitamin D is one really everyone should be aware of. Many of us do not get enough sun and we really don't want to get a whole lot of sun, right? If you want to save your skin. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. I would love to know your thoughts. I would love to know if you're familiar with any of these TikTokers, any of these people and their TikToks or their YouTube channels. And of course, like and subscribe. And thank you to all of my members and my patrons at patreon.com slash a natural vegan. I do post two exclusive videos a month for tier two members and patrons. I post a vlog and I also do a controversial topic towards the end of the month. It sounds like my baby daddy and my baby are back from the store. So it's time for me to wrap up. Thanks again, everybody. New video soon. So interesting when I searched vegan what I eat in a day, 
this little like disclaimer came up, you are more than your weight. If you or someone you know has questions about body image, food or exercise, it is important to know that help is out there and you are not alone. If you feel comfortable, you can confide in someone you trust or check out the resources below. Please remember to take care of yourselves and others. So I guess if you search for anything diet or weight related, this comes up. I'm not sure how I feel about that, honestly. Like, I guess it's okay. I guess I'm just kind of worried about this bit of an obsession with eating disorders and mental health and the potential it has to convince people who don't really have issues with food or don't really have issues with mental health that they actually do, right? That like everyone should be concerned about this because you all have it. There's a big push in schools, even elementary schools, to promote like mental health days. And I don't know, it's it's a bit of a concern for me. This is probably fine though, just to be clear. I'm probably just being dramatic. 